I had to really forget everything that I learned up until the point of about three years ago, which is a lot, you know? What it means to be a man, what men do, what men feel, what men show, you know, all those things I had to let go of to kind of figure out how to get to a place where I would become vulnerable and actually open up my heart. Yeah. So we came into contact through a meditation group several months ago. What was the thing that made you want to experience the uh, RTT process that I do? Well, I didn't seek out RTT specifically, but I felt when I met you, I, I feel energy now. So I feel good energy. I feel bad energy. I, I have my intuition because I'm in touch with my heart now. My intuition is heightened and I felt like you um, had good energy and I, you know, I've learned several modalities of meditation since going to see Dr. Joe. I've learned TM, Transcendental Meditation, and I want to seek out different ways, different paths to enlightenment, no matter what it is. So I thought that I'd give you uh, an opportunity to work with me and, and me an opportunity to work with you. And so far it's been great. Fantastic. What do you feel like was the biggest benefit to the session that we did? Uh, peace. Mm. You know, just I came out of it very peaceful and enlightened to the things that were holding me back, the thoughts and the, the struggles that I, I have had and the old beliefs. It's like I've got this new toolbox right here and it's got all these shiny, great tools and they <laughs> work really good and they're, they're amazing. And then I've got these... <laughs> old rusty tools over here but you know these tools are all familiar and I know how they work and even though they're rusty and they're antiquated and they still kind of work and in the times of stress and anxiety I tend to vacillate back to old tools because I know what their effects are and that is just really a reaction. So you were able to upgrade to your new shiny toolbox that mm -hmm. has really cool stuff in it. Yeah. Easier. I've lost my old toolbox. I don't know where it Fantastic. is. Fantastic. Yeah. I don't know where it is anymore. Fantastic. Yeah. And those are tools like um, like guilt that I would use in situations or anger that I would use in situations and instead of applying love to situations, no matter what the cost to me personally. And that's the thing that, you know, I do battle with my ego every day. And that, as guys, that is a battle worth fighting. Definitely worth fighting because it's once you conquer your ego and you can set it aside, then you allow your heart to open and let love come out. Fantastic. So what would your advice be to somebody, perhaps a man, suffering, struggling? And a lot of men, I think, don't do the work don't come for the sessions because they're afraid even, and, and they'll make up a, a whole bunch of reasons, mm -hmm. excuses. But what would your advice be to that person that's struggling, suffering, sweating it through each day, that clearly needs some help? <laughs> Let go. It's the hardest thing to do. Okay. <laughs> You're doing great. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's um, letting go. Letting go of old ways of um, dealing with things. Letting go of uh, old techniques. Um, running and running away. Hiding from yourself in alcohol or drugs or sex or TV or movies, whatever you want. Or eating. You know, there's a million ways to run away from yourself. And they're developing more and more every day. But letting go while it's the hardest thing to do as a man, letting go of the old concepts of what it is to be a man and letting go of all the beliefs that you have held because of the teachers that you've had that didn't know any better, didn't know that we're all just human. And when we did your session, you were able to see with clarity the old toolbox that didn't serve you anymore and get rid of it in favor of the new, tool, new toolbox that is working for you. Is that mm. what I'm hearing you say? Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, great. Um, 
I really appreciate you being here. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to tell people that are suffering and are on the fence uh, about coming in and finding out what the demons are and letting them go? Yeah, it's, it's going to be scary at first. And it's going to be vulnerable, uncomfortable, and it's going to be um, unusual. <laughs> <laughs> but after you walk through it, it will be very helpful. It will give you peace here. Isn't it kind of like looking under the bed for the monster and realizing there's no monster under the bed? Yeah, it's the monster in your head. Yeah, and by going in, finding it, seeing it for what it is... Mm -hmm. It can go away. Is that correct? Yeah. And it's, it's, it's about understanding yourself. Because guys, I mean, we're not encouraged to, for self-discovery. Much more than physically. Mm -hmm. That's true. So discover your heart. Discover your soul. What is your purpose for being here? It can't be to be punching a clock every day and working for somebody else doing stuff that you know doesn't make you happy. Well, and it can't be to just punch through everything all the time. Is it really supposed to be that hard? No. And no, that's it's usually and, a sign and, that you're not on the right yeah, track. Yeah, and does it make your business more successful, your relationships more successful, your parenting ability more successful to be grinding and sweating it out mm -hmm. and, and muscling through it or does it make you a better, more functional entity to be aware of what's going on and able to navigate appropriately with strength, as Joe would say, nobility. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, you know, qualities that require attunement to that level of awareness. Yeah. I'm I'm guessing my hallucination is that your ability to have relationships, run your business, be happy in whatever you choose to do now is exponentially better, stronger, mm -hmm. more flexible, capable and aware than it was mm -hmm. 5 years ago. Yeah, and I don't need to seek others approval to do that. So just know that in this work it's not something you could go to the bar and talk to your buddies about because it's not a social norm for guys. Mm -hmm. But it is probably one of the most rewarding things you can do for yourself is to get to know who you are on the inside and why you do the things you do. Yes. Um, I know there was a long time that I was wondering, well, why do I keep doing that? And most of it had to do with my relationship with myself. Can I talk to my male friends about this on a regular basis? A few of them. The funny thing is, is that just like a pair of tennis shoes growing up, you when you grow as a human, when you evolve as a human, you end up growing out of friendships that used to serve you. And now I've got new friendships that actually embrace talking about things of the heart with other men. Mm, beautiful. How good does it feel waking up in the morning with this new you versus you of five years ago? <laughs> I don't have to take any substances to, to stand being around me. Oh, beautiful. Anything. I don't have to take anything to love who I am. And I don't need the, uh, I don't need the uh, approval of anyone else in the world. That's a good feeling. And my hallucination is also there's a lot more optimism now than there was five oh, yeah. years ago. Yeah, I just look for opportunities to serve others, and it turns out that's what my business is, is trying to find ways to help others. I think that's probably one of the things that makes me happiest is, you know, the heart of a servant. That's what I've become. Instead of the ego of a giant, my... My heart is of the servant. If you had not gone down the road of enlightenment, self-journeying, getting to the heart energy, what would that have cost you? <laughs> <laughs> I would not be here.
Beautiful. I would not here, be here to talk about it. Well, thank you so much. I love that you're here, and um, it's always great to work with accomplished people that uh, value and pursue the energy of the heart and giving back to the community and others, uh, because that spreads with such joy and peace and abundance and all the things that we all gravitate to and, uh, yeah. and love to cultivate in our lives. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks. Appreciate it. Okay. Thanks for joining us. And if you like this video, please hit the like button and um, we'll be coming out with more videos.